Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you a invoice web app dashboard. In this dashboard, you can create the invoices plus you can manage a lot of other functionalities. So without wasting your time, I will show you this web application. So as of now, you can see here, uh, this is our web app dashboard and uh, this is a section for search uh, how this search will work. For example, you create an invoice. Uh, I will give you a live demo. Uh, so you will see here, this is an invoice number 002 because 001 is already exists in our database as you now see here. So uh, you can see here, this is a data from where invoice is generated. And this is bill to on which client we have built these invoices. Okay. As of now, you can see here, we enter our details and uh, now we select the invoice date. Okay. And we select the due date. We can easily select here and select the payment method. How we can add the payment method in this web application, I will show you. Okay. Go to here and select manage payment methods. And when you select manage payment method and click on this add new payment method. And here you can add the PayPal and click on the save method. So when you click on this save method, now you can able to see the PayPal is going to be successfully added in our payment method. Okay. You can see here the PayPal is successfully being added. So we need to enter our details again here and select the currency on which currency format we want to make our invoice. We want to make the invoice in USD and by default we select the USD here as well. Okay. So we just select the item. You can see here the available stock for this particular quantity. Okay. You can see here for this particular quantity, the available stock is 696. So if I go to add 700, it will say quantity cannot exceed available amount. Okay. We need maximum six. We can add maximum 696 items. Okay. So I just select here one. You can see here the one and when I select the two, the prices will be immediately affected and changed. Okay. So you can see here the 900 rupees and you can see here we can add the text details here. So if you want. So here's the transaction ID. For example, you receive a payment and you get a transaction ID from the bank. You can simply add that particular transaction ID here. Note any term you can to add, you can add it here and click on this print invoice. So when you click on this print of invoice, you can see here the invoice is going to be the professionally. Okay. So why this uh, blue icon, why this blue lines comes here? Because we add that we don't add the data manually. We select here and select here. If we add the data by hand, then that the blue shade will not come. You can see here that then now the blue shade will not comes here. So. Uh, we need to save it. Uh, click on the save invoice for saving the invoice. I just click on the save invoice. As you can see here, the invoice is going to be successfully uh, saved and our web application is ready for new invoice. And it's ready for new invoice. As of now, you can see here, uh, the one increment in our previous invoice number is automatically added and now it's set to be the for new invoice generation. We go to our all invoices. As of now, you can see here, we have the two invoices here. Okay. Uh, we have the invoices. We have the two invoices. This is a PKR invoice. Okay. And this is a USD invoice. You can also see the PKR invoices amount here and the filtered total USD amount here and the INR amount is here. Okay. You can also apply the filter. For example, I just select here. And I just select it here and click on this filter. So you can see here, no invoices criteria found. Same here, you can search the data. Now go to your manage items. In our new invoice section, you can able to see when I select the default PKR value, it will change to the RS. Okay, when I select the INR, you will see here, the INR sign will appears here. Okay, I select the USDT, you can select, you can see here, the USDT sign will come. Okay. So this is a item uh, which have no any stock. How we can add this stock? We just go to e-commerce setup, go to our manage items. And when we go to our manage items and e-commerce setup, we just click on this edit and add the item 1500 and click on this save item. 
So when we click on the save item, as of now, you can able to see the data is going to be successfully added and being fetched on the our web application real time. Now go and select the item of our e-commerce setup. You can see here the 1500 quantity stock is available. Okay, you can add items from here easily. You can see here, you can add one more items directly here. So you can click on this save invoice. Payment method, I already told to you how to add, how you can add the payment method. And this is a currency format which will, uh, which will give you information in future uh, in which currency you get the invoice, you get the payment. Okay. Now the last feature is that the change password functionality. We just need to come here, go to our user sections and here you will see, I just copy my password and paste. Uh, I just come here. I just copy my username. Okay. And uh, you can see here, I need to enter my old password and I just enter my old password. And now I have added one and click on this change password. So when I click on this change password, as of now, you can able to see my password is going to be successfully changed. Okay. My password is going to be successfully changed out. Okay. So this is our invoice web application. Hope you like this video. You like this concept. And uh, now we go, now we will see a one look to our uh, Google Sheet ID. So many of the subscribers, many of the viewers ask me in my personal chat, what is the Google Sheet ID and where we can find it. So uh, you can see here, this is the Google Sheet URL. So this uh, is that after the D slash, okay, uh, till slash, this is your Google Sheet ID. So you just need to copy this ID, go to your code.js and replace with this ID. So in that, uh, after replacing this and click on this deploy and click on this new deployment and when you get the new link, you, your uh, web app will be activated and you can easily uh, working on that file. Okay, working on that web application. So this is our invoice items. What is the invoice item? So you can see here, this is invoice 001. So these all items will be connected to invoice one. Okay, so whenever we search the data of our invoice in go to here and enter here and click on this search and load. So when I click on this search and load as of now, you can see here all the items fetched. Why this fetched? Because you can see here these all items related to the invoice number one. Okay, you understand. I hope you understand. When you go to your uh, all invoices, you can also select a view or edit and you can also delete your invoice. When you click on this delete, as of now, you can able to see your invoice is going to be deleting. Uh, and now you can able to see stock has been restored because this invoice is going to be deleted and how much purchasing that will be re-added to our stock. So this feature we have also added in this web application. So hope so you like this video, you like this concept. Next, I am going to try a QR code our uh, invoicing system you can scan the qr code and invoice will be the generated thank you very much take care